I got in how many bike accidents in my first area? Got in several bike accidents. Felt like one every week <laughs> in my first area. And one of them was really bad. Um, some of them were easy stuff. Um, one time I was just riding my bike behind my companion. He stopped at a, um, at a stoplight or something like that. I was a little bit behind him and my pedal caught on... Um, that was another thing about Japan. They had... Um, they didn't really have raised sidewalks, but they had a curb. So it was like there was a street, just a normal street, and then a section where you could walk on it, and then a curb that came up like, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches or something like that. So there was always a curb, but not usually like a sidewalk to go with it. So you had to be careful not to run into the curb or it could take your bike out from under your stuff like that. Or you could learn how to ride on top of the curb, and that was fun. Um, just like ride up one of the ramps and just like... Just like going down the middle of the curve, that was that was that was fun. That was probably the reason for so many bike accidents. But um, some of the curbs didn't have like an angle going up to them. Some of them were just like cut off. And this is what I hit this time coming up to the stoplight. My pedal caught onto one of these concrete um, curbs and stopped my bike short, like dead stop. And I just like went into my handlebars and fell over the. Um, fell over the front of my bike and would have like stopped there or fallen down or something like that but that pulled my bike up and so then I was going over with my bike and then my bike tipped over and then like fell on top of me and I was just laying there I was just laughing my head off because I thought it was so stupid <laughs> and my companion turned around and I'm on the, the floor with my bike on top of me just laughing and he's like what has happened and I was just like I don't know I don't know anymore one of my favorite bike accidents was Probably also my very first one. Um, it was a P day. We were going somewhere really far away. We were going to go on a hike or something like that. So we rode our bikes out really, really far. And like I said, that was a dumb thing to do in the summer because it might rain, and it did. And we stayed there for a long time for some reason. I can't remember, but we realized it was going to rain. And it had rained a little bit earlier that morning, so there was puddles here and there and stuff like that. And we could see that it was going to rain soon. And so my companion was like, we got to get home. We got to get home as fast as we can. So we were going home. And we were literally pedaling as fast as we could. And I was on my highest gear and pedaling with all my might. I was probably going like 30 kilometers an hour or something like that. Um, it's probably not very much in miles an hour. I feel like we were at least going 20, 25 miles an hour on our bikes. And there was a really long straight stretch um, of really flat, smooth, easy to ride on stuff. And we were just flying down this. Um, and at the very end, it turns about 45 degrees. Um, and then like 20 feet later, it turns again, 45 degrees and comes parallel to the road. Um, and so we were going super fast. We hit the first turn and we were like, oh, maybe we should slow down. And we turn 20 feet later, the second turn, my companions in front of me were both going 20, 25 miles an hour. Um, at least 20 miles an hour. And my companion hits the turn, and I see the turn, um, and there's a gravel patch and a puddle right at the elbow of the turn. My companion hits the turn, and his bike just goes like that. It just like wobbles and he, his feet shoot out. He like um, steadies himself and just like holds on. His bike is shaking and he just like, just like stays. He didn't, he didn't fall over, but he um, basically put, put out his parachute trying to hold himself up for a second. So I saw him wobble like that and I'm like, he's going to go down and then it was like silence, like my, my bike just disappeared out from under me. And just like, I felt like it all happened in like less than a second, but I, I felt like there was like, I don't know, a ton of time in that little second where my bike disappears out from under me. And I just remember just like feeling like nothing. 
and my I was flying my bike slipped out from under me and the front of it the front tire and the handlebars went underneath the rail guard or something like that whatever it's called um, the guard on the side of the road keeps the cars from exiting where they're not supposed to um, my bike went through that into the road and with my direction going at that speed I was going towards the road when I slipped I and my bike went that way it slid underneath and I feel like I should also have slid underneath or into the the guardrail um, but didn't, instead of going the same direction as my bike, I went parallel to the road. Um, and I, I want to see this replayed one, one day because it was, it was awesome. It felt awesome and I, if I wasn't hurt so bad, I would have been laughing and jumping for joy when I got up just because of how awesome it was and how awesome it felt. I was flying for a good couple of seconds. Then I hit the ground uh, and then I wasn't flying anymore. Um, but, um, another fun fact, why, well, I, I only got hurt on the palms of both of my hands, um, because that's what hit first. I basically did a, I could say that I'm an expert at high speed pushups, um, because that's kind of what I did, um, but... It was fun. I've never, I've never before since done a 25 mile an hour push up um, <laughs> on, on, on the concrete and the gravel. And, um, the fun thing was <laughs> that um, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was in P-Day clothes. I was wearing a t-shirt and shorts. I, I had a helmet on, but um, I didn't have any like protection on my arms, elbows, knees, or anything when I went onto this gravel spot. But somehow I only got cut on my hands. That was, the, that was all that got cut. I hit, I basically when my bike disappeared, like my feet just like went out from under me and I flew like this towards the road. I hit the ground, my, my hands went out from under me um, and then my chest hit the ground and I did a, a penguin slide for like a good yard and a half almost. And I just, <laughs> and then just like sliding along the ground, just like sliding. And then my hands were out. I was, my, my legs were out from under me. I was just like sliding along the ground, just like a penguin. And another thing when I hit the ground, like my hands had slipped so fast. I feel like my head should have like hit the ground too and like maybe gone underneath me or something like that. But um, when I hit the ground and started sliding, I felt like every muscle in my back just clenched and it just like pulled my head just like back. That was like as I was falling, like just like everything clenched and my head was just back and I hit the ground and my head stayed up and I just remember looking at the ground like as I'm sliding and just seeing like even if I'd come down my helmet wouldn't have done anything um, I w if I had come down at that speed and whiplashed like I feel like I should have um, it would have hit my jaw and um, probably shattered it um, at the speed I was going and other stuff like that. As it was, I just finished my slide. And once I was done, I kind of was still in that position. And then I just let my head down and like just kind of laid down there. And so I feel like this, this bike accident was my favorite just because of how fun it was. And, um, but also because there was like several different times and ways that I should have got hurt, but I feel like I didn't because the Lord was protecting me. Uh, like I said, I didn't have any knee protection or um, arm protection or anything. And even though I was wear wearing a helmet, it wouldn't have protected my jaw unless I'd worn it like upside down or something like that. But um, I really feel like the Lord was protecting me and didn't send me into the road, um, into the oncoming traffic, 
Um, like I also felt like I should have gone. I just like, I feel like this bike accident was a miracle, which is why it's so fun for me to tell now. <laughs> anyway, to finish the story, I, I was on the ground. I was just laying there, just like, just like on the ground, just laying flat. And I just did this mental check. Uh, I was like, okay, um, feet. Yeah, I can feel my toes. I can feel my feet. I can move my feet. I can feel my legs. Um, I can feel my arms. I can feel my elbows. I can feel my hands. I can feel my face. I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> and so then I was so excited that I, I, I did another push up, a second push up. Um, threw myself off the ground, just stood up, and my companion was coming back, or like he'd f f gone really far. And then, like, like I said, he was like wobbling, so he slowed down and stopped. But as he was stopping, he looked over his shoulder and saw me, and I can just imagine this in slow motion, my bike just flying out from under me, and me just going, no. Just like flying through the air. <laughs> my companion's like, no. Just like looking over his shoulder, just seeing me. And, um, He's, he sees me hit the ground, slide, it flop, and just laying there. And I laid there for probably five seconds, and he um, he was coming back. And I got up, I jumped up, and he was like, "Oh my goodness, you're alive! I thought you were dead. You were just laying there. I thought you were dead." And so he had to laugh about that. And then I'm like, "I'm fine. I'm fine. I didn't get hurt anyway. I'm not. I'm not scratched. I'm not anything." And then I grabbed, I grabbed my bike, and I was like, "Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. I, I, I did. I guess." Uh, could you pick up my bike? <laughs> I was like, I was like, couldn't do that. And I ended up riding my bike like another three miles home. Um, but I couldn't grab the, grab the handlebars because um, my, literally the, like, I had really big cuts in each of my hands. Um, and there was like still gravel in it and every fun stuff like that. Um, so I couldn't grab it. So I ended up like riding my bike, putting my fists on the, Things, but then I couldn't pull the brake and so I was riding my bike like that and when I needed to stop I'd like put my foot forward and like use my foot as a brake against the the wheel and they were actually these shoes um, so there's like places where ah uh, here where it's like worn off because I was like um, using them the wrong way um, I got in a couple more bike accidents on my way home because I couldn't pull the brakes. I couldn't stop in time. So I like ran into my companion and stuff. And he was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't pull the brakes. So that was fun. It was a fun experience all the way through. I got in several more bike accidents throughout my mission, but that was probably by far my favorite.